I heard you at the CNN town hall talk about how we need to overcome political semantics and these sort of artificial divisions that we have. And even I, in this interview, have used the terms left wing and right wing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that's unfortunate. I think that there's a lot of agreement on, you know, people all over the political spectrum. They they have fundamental agreements. But again, we have these um, terms locked in our head, you know, capitalism, socialism, conservative, liberal, progressive. How do we actually overcome that? And how does somebody on the quote unquote far left and somebody on the quote unquote far right who agree on 70 percent of issues? How do they actually come together to accomplish you know, their shared goals? That rather than casting judgment on someone because of these labels that are vastly misunderstood or misused or that mean very different things to different people, uh, actually focusing on our ideas, our positions on issues um, how we would seek to solve the challenges that we collectively face. Um, this is the problem when you start to put people in different buckets. Uh, for example, there's, there's Republicans who I meet who consider themselves conservative or who've been lifelong Republicans who disagree very much with the leadership that this Republican president is providing. So uh, similarly, there are a vast, um, diverse set of ideas and views on different issues within the Democratic Party. Uh, So rather than pitting one group or one tribe against the other because of this label that's there, instead we should be focusing on on, uh, our position on different issues, on how we seek to tackle the problems that we face. Uh, And by doing so, that gives us the opportunity to build bridges, to build relationships, to find those areas of common interest and common ground so that we can come together as Americans in this country and actually move forward for everyone's sake.